Let's go to page 732, start with number 1. Okay, so it says how many even, so write down all the information. So even, and it's two digit, and it's going to be positive, and it's less than 50. Okay, so two digits, and it's positive, so you're looking at 10 through, and it's less than 50, so it'd be 49. Okay, so you got two digits, so get two boxes. So the one for 10th digit and a, and a unit digit. So since it's 10 through 49, so the first, the 10th digit have four choices, one, two, three, or four, so you have four choices. And have to be even, so, the, so to be even, this have to be zero, two, four, six, or eight. So there are uh, five choices, okay? So you got four choices here, five choices here, so you have to multiply, so four times five will give you 20. So there are 20 two-digit number less than 50. Again, you can write it out to count them, okay? But it will take too much time. Okay, number three. So how many odd three digits? So you can write down all the information, odd, and it's gonna be three digit. And it's gonna be positive. And can be using two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you can write down all your information. Okay, so three digits, so you're going to get three boxes, right? Well, first, let's, let's get our range. So it's odd, and it has to be three digits. So the smallest one, three digits would be one, zero, one, right? And the, the highest number would be three digits, and it's positive, so it would be nine, nine, nine. Okay? Okay, so now let's look at the first choice. So, and you only can use these five digits. So this one has five choices, okay? And this one has no restriction, so you can, you can use any one of those five. So again, there's five, there are five choices, okay? And that to be odd, so this one has to be odd. So you only can use three or five, so there are two choices, right? And so there are five choices for the hundredth digit, five choices for the tenth digit, but only two choices for the, for the unit digit, because it has to be odd, so it has to be three and five. So you multiply, so five times five times two will give you 50. Okay, number five. Is that how many ways can you select one algebra book, one geometry book, and one calculus book from a collection of eight different? Okay, so you got eight algebra books, and you and you have five geometry books and three cal calculus book. Okay, so you're going to choose one, and you're going to choose one from here, and you're going to choose one from here. Okay, so again, so this one, there are eight of them, and you're going to choose one. So there are eight choices, right? You can choose one of any of the eight. Okay, this one, again, there are five of them, so you got five choices. Okay, there are five you can choose from, so there are five choices. And there are three of them, and, you, and so there are three choices. So multiply, together you get 120. Okay, number seven. So there's how many different ways can a 10 question true false test can be answered in, and every question has to be answered. Okay, so there are two, so there are 10 questions, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right? And so true or false, you got two choices, either true or false. You cannot leave it blank because it's every question must be answered, so you cannot leave it blank. If you can leave it blank, there would be three choices. You can true, false, or blank, right? But this one is not allowed to leave it blank, so you only have two choices. Either have to be true or false, okay? Cannot leave it blank. So every question must be answered. So first question, you have two choices, true or false. Second question, again, two choices. Every question have two choices, okay? Every question have two choices, either true or false, okay? Okay, again, and you have to be answered. You cannot leave it blank. If you can leave it blank, it would be three choices, okay? Because you, you have true, false, or blank. So you have to make sure that you understand that. Okay, so that means two times two, so you got two to the tenth power, so multiply all these together, you get one, zero, two, four. Okay. 
Okay, number nine. Okay, how many ways are there to select three cards, one after the other, from a deck of 52 cards? And if the cards are not returned to the deck after being selected? Okay, so there are 52 cards, right? So the first card, you have 52 choices, okay? And once you select it, you don't put it back. So once you take one out, you got the next card, you only got 51 choices because one card has been taken away, okay? So second card has 51 choices. So now two cards are gone, so now you have 50 cards left to choose for the third one. So you can 50, right? Okay, so when you multiply, so you got 52 times 51 times 50, and you get 132600. Zero, zero. And that's it.